I'm Tracy Baxter with today's Record News Watch. He was found guilty of the brutal, fatal beating of a little four-year-old boy that he was left in charge of babysitting. Today, 32-year-old Corey Bird learned his fate. In Orange County Court today, the 32-year-old Newberg man was sentenced to 50 years to life in prison for killing little Mark Bucall back in December of 2009. Bird received a 25 years to life sentence for the second degree murder conviction and 25 years to life for evidence tampering, with the sentences to run concurrent consecutively. Uh, Mark's mother and father talked with reporters uh, after the sentences were handed down. I wish they had a death penalty in New York, but um, finally I could say justice was served for Mark Buckle, and I'm happy we could move on from here, try to have some closure. Um, it's been rough for the past, since 09, and, you know, finally my heart could be at peace, you know, justice was served for my son. I trusted him so that I could provide for my family and not have to worry about everyone else doing something to my kids, and he was the one that was the closest. Corey Bird's attorney, Joseph Brown, called the 50-to-life sentence excessive, and he says an appeal will be filed. Reporter Heather Yankin will have uh, more details here at Record Online and in tomorrow's Times-Herald Record. More violence in the city of Newburgh. This incident happening late last night when city police officers shot and killed a city resident after they say he threatened them with a knife. Police had a warrant for the arrest uh, when they spotted 22-year-old Michael Lemhard walking on Liberty Street. He ran into a Liberty Street apartment to house uh, where the confrontation occurred. According to police, Lemhard was shot and killed after he threatened them with the knife. He was pronounced dead at St. Luke's Cornwall Hospital. Angry relatives and residents gathered at the scene, heightening tensions overnight. Officers involved in the shooting are to be placed on administrative leave pending an investigation by the Orange County District Attorney's Office. A fire of as yet undetermined origin badly damaged the residents in the city of Middletown this afternoon. The blaze broke out on the second floor of the Martin family home at 29 Little Avenue and spread to the attic. Other parts of the house sustained heavy smoke and water damage. Assistant Chief Tom Amodio said the two-alarm blaze worked its way through the walls of the house, making it difficult to extinguish. Nobody got hurt. The last of the suspects tied to a fatal shooting in Kingston has pleaded guilty to a felony conspiracy charge. 25-year-old Rondi Russ, a member of a local street gang, made the plea as an evidence a hearing was to begin in his case. Russ was among those involved in the planning of the execution-style killing of Charles King in Midtown Kingston back in February of 2010. King had uh, been killed because he'd been uh, given, he had given a grand jury testimony in a 2009 murder case and was to give testimony at a trial. Trevor Matisse and Gary Griffin were convicted of first-degree murder for carrying out the hit. Uh, Russ faces up to 25 years in prison when he is sentenced next month. The verbal sparring continues between Ulster County Executive Michael Hine and the New York City Department of Environmental Protection over muddy water releases from the city's Ashokan Reservoir into the Lower Esopus Creek. During a press briefing, Hine outlined a recommendation that the dirty overflow water be diverted into a Hudson River drainage chamber and then down the Catskill Aqueduct away from the Lower Esopus. A DEP spokesman says Hines' proposal would only relocate problems, not solve them, and that the chamber would need a major capital upgrade before it could be uh, put back into use. Local officials say since last summer, the release of more than 40 billion gallons of dirty water into the creek has killed aquatic life and compromised farmers' irrigation systems. Beefed-up security is taking shape at Middletown City Court. The scene of a fatal shooting last month, Mayor Joseph DeStefano says city leaders have signed off on a plan to install an alarm system, provide swipe card entries uh, cards for employees, and electrical uh, door locks as a way to improve the safety and security at the facility. Further uh, court security measures are also being considered in the wake of the shooting of a rifle-toting man who made his way into the court building back on February 8th. The mayor says what you won't be seeing will be the installation of metal detectors for the court. 
And environmental officials continue to monitor a section of the Hudson River for any possible contamination at the scene of where a decommissioned Staten Island ferry boat sprung a leak last weekend and partially sank along the Newburgh waterfront. Divers determined the retired vessel that had uh, been taken to a Newburgh shipyard was resting on the river bottom. A Coast Guard official reported that a small amount of fuel did leak into the water but uh, was cleaned up. The leak was uh, in the process of being patched up, but it could take a couple of weeks to refloat the boat. Won't be quite as warm out there on Friday, but uh, I doubt anyone will be complaining. It'll be partly cloudy.